Welcome back to the channel this week. We're going to be talking about my best images, or I should say my favorite images of 2022. Um, I've, you know, I picked out like 30 images. <laughs> That's a lot. So I narrowed it down to about 20. And what I've done is, is I've segregated it a little bit to my Leica images, my GFX images, and my X-T3, X-T5, uh, X-T30 images. And I think you'll find some of them very interesting. And I'm going to talk a little bit about each one. So let's get started. Well, this first image made with the Leica MP240 in the 21 millimeter Super Angulon from 1963 or thereabouts uh, was processed in Luminar Neo and it got a great effect out of it and it got a nice dark sky and the, the problem, the problem with this lens is, is that it, it makes a interesting pink vignette in, <laughs> in color. So I uh, automatically go to black and white. This next image was made with the 50 millimeter Sumalux 1.4. And I might have used an ND filter on it so I could shoot it at 1.4. I really love the effect that it gives. This image was made with the Leica MP240 and the 28 millimeter Elmeret version one, also from the 60s. I love the detail on this door and I really like the, uh, the seagull and the flags and it was just a wonderful image to take a lot of detail. I believe this image is from Friendship Maine, also done with the Leica and the 28mm Elmeret. And I just love the fact that it just leads you into this giant stash of, uh, <laughs> of lobster buoys. And I love the colors, yellow and, and uh, orange. And I used a, uh, a preset for like Kodachrome which on, on it, which was really cool. This shot was made with the MP240 and the Leica 21mm Super Elmar and it's such a beautiful tack sharp image and it's a real photojournalistic image which is what I'm used to and this lobster man was busy working on his traps and it was a nice foggy day to boot. I was really excited to go out with my Leica M3 and the 35mm uh, Sumeron 3.5, which is from like the uh, 50s, I think. And, uh, you know, I was using old film and it had, what a great different look to it. And this is one of my favorite images of all of the, uh, the film images that I took. One of the exciting things that I was able to do this year was borrow the uh, GFX 50R from Fuji and I was blown away by the images that I was able to get out of it. This image here you can see the really unbelievable detail in it. And nothing like a foggy day with a large format camera. The detail in this image is just unbelievable and I really enjoyed the way I was able to square it up nicely and really make a beautiful image out of it. And we always have a little bit of a surprise, <laughs> a seagull coming in for a landing on a dinghy and uh, definitely a little bit different handling experience with the 50R and uh, trying to get this moment.
Now, most of you will remember my trip out to West Beach and Beverly with the 50R and trying to get this uh, really dilapidated or almost non-existent uh, pier. I just enjoyed photographing that situation so much and I was able to get some great images out of it and converting them to black and white also made a great difference. Now these next few images are from tours up in Maine and this shot here of Nubble Light I was able to slow the water down with a nice slow shutter speed worked out really great. Another cool shot at sunset up at Bailey Island, Maine made with the XT30 and what a great a great opportunity when the schooner came in from outside on its evening sail. This is probably one of the most photographed scenes of Pemaquid Point Light. And all, every time we went up there, it was just really lousy out, but I got a little bit of blue in the sky and a nice reflection, not too crazy. Uh, and I really like the way the algae is on the water and on the rocks and stuff. It came out pretty well. My wife and I did some scouting up in Maine, up near Mount Desert Island in Acadia. And this church is, just, I think it's near Trenton, I'm not really sure, but it's a, what a wonderful church to take when you've got some great shadows and a marvelous transition over to black and white. Being a photojournalist, I'm always looking for some humor in certain situations and this instructor having trouble with her students uh, with their uh, paddles always I thought was kind of fun. And this was made with the XT30 and the 70 to 300. This shot here was made with the XT5 and the 100 to 400 of this Cardinal. Just an amazing shot. Very, very sharp. Now, if you remember in November, I think it was, or October, I purchased a 35 millimeter F2, and this shot here is at F2 with the X-T3. I just love the look of this, especially with the fog. And I hope you also remember this shot here that was done with the 70 to 300. We we're working on close-ups and also working on trying to do some focus stacking so everything is nice and sharp. Man, that lens is just tack sharp. Now about this time last year, we had some sea smoke. Actually, it was early January. Sea smoke over on the back shore of Gloucester and some wind knocking the tops off the waves. Just an extraordinary situation for some dramatic images. This shot here was made with my XT30 and the 18 to 55 down uh, at almost at foot level with a light snow falling and it's my Christmas card for this year for 2022. So thanks for watching today's video on my favorite images of 2022. And I hope you all have a wonderful 2023 coming up with lots of photography involved. And if you wouldn't mind, please give me a like, subscribe and comment on the images if you like any of them. And even if you don't like any of them, 
And that's it for this week, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, and by the way, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. Talk to you next time.